Hello friends, as promised we've invited you into our kitchen today to show you one of our breakfast staples, soaked oats. The first thing I'd like to point out about soaked oats, because we get this question a little bit on the blog, is, is oatmeal vegan? And like this, just plain oats, it's absolutely vegan. It's just, it's just the plant. There's nothing, there's nothing in there. So, short answer, yes, oatmeal is vegan. It all depends what you add to it, what you cook it, how you cook it or prepare it and that kind of thing that will then decide later on if it remains vegan. We, everything that we're adding here today is still 100% vegan. So the quickest, easiest way to make a healthy breakfast for yourself is to take a, a quarter cup of oats. We've got gluten-free oats. Um, you can also get organic oats. But you know what, regular oats or oatmeal works just as well. And then all you need, if you want to be fancy, you can add, you can add milk or whatever, but we just do water. And there's no like actual measurement. Sporty gets, goes a bit crazy with me because I'm not really a measurement person. But you just kind of cover the oats. And you can leave them... If you prepare it overnight, it's, it's best, but if you, even if you let them soak for like an hour, that, that works perfectly. Um, we've already soaked some in preparation. So this is what they look like now, the, the soaked ones. You can see they're a bit soggy, I would say, is a good way of describing them. What we do now is we add a variety of things. We've got protein powder. We've discovered this quite tasty understated chocolate protein powder. We always keep soaked chia seeds on, on hand. Uh, they're good for, what is it, sporty fat? Yeah, good fats and um, protein as well. There we go. And then maca, uh, which is a, a superfood that gives you what sporty? <laughs> Endurance. Endurance. We have flax oil in there because of good oils. And then um, we've got some green powder, some spirulina, and some frozen blueberries, which will hopefully defrost by the time we get to eating this. And the reason the labeling is all weird is because we shop at Nude Foods, which is a package-free shop. I'll link to that video so you can see more about that. Okay. I'm going to quickly build this breakfast and one quick tip if you want to be really quick you can prepare this at night so soak the oats get yourself another little tupperware throw all your powders into the tupperware and then all you have to do in the morning is throw in the powders the oil and the chia mix it up and you're good to go so let me quickly do this and show you that it's really quick even if you haven't prepared So you've got two choices at, at this point. This is already um, a healthy basis for your breakfast and you can leave it here. However, let me just get a clean teaspoon. Sporty and I like to add green powders. Because why Sporty? What have they got in them? Oh, all sorts of goodness. Okay, shall I just link in the description? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, did I put you on the spot there? Yes. Okay. Um, and the reason I showed you before I added in the green powder is because now it's going to go from looking sort of appetizing to very much not appetizing. I guess most people don't want dark green anything for breakfast, let alone oats. However... These, these powders, first of all, they're really good for you. And second of all, this protein powder that we discovered actually masks the taste, the strong taste of the green powder so well that we are able to get the goodness in. And this actually still tastes delicious. I know 
maybe you think that's a bit of a stretch, but it actually tastes quite delicious. So we're going to go with a tiny bit more water. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hand over to Sporty because this is the basis of your breakfast, but now the fun stuff happens. You top it with things to make it even more tasty and fun and delicious and nutritious. So let's get Sporty in on the picture. And here we are. Um, we have transferred our oat bowl into this lovely glass just so that it looks slightly more appetizing than you think it is right now. Just a, a few extra pointers on what Andrew was saying earlier. Uh, the protein shake, the one that we've got, it says slender shake on there so I'm not sure what that is about but the, the ingredients are really really good. There's organic pea protein in there. Um, with quite a few minerals and things that they've added and it's um, it's a Dutch cocoa flavor so it's a bit chocolatey and it, it's uh, sweetened with stevia so wonderful um, ingredients so if you want to keep your things healthy maybe have a look in the ingredients when you are uh, looking for protein powder. So we're going to add um, what I like to call sprinkles because Every breakfast should have sprinkles, unless it's um, ever on toast. Or actually, ever on toast can also have sprinkles. So we're going to start with um, this amazing yogurt that we can get locally. It's uh, it's a coconut yogurt called Fat Fox, and we'll link to their stuff below um, for our local viewers. So. Let me just mix this up a little bit. So we lob a good amount of yogurt on there because we love yogurt for for our gut. Very healthy. I'll just put this over here. And then, oh, we forgot about the berries. So I'm just going to put them over the top. Uh, the plan was actually to put the berries on first and then the yogurt, but. You know, we just, we bob and weave when we don't think, do things as planned. Also, um, when we eat our, our own breakfast oats, we do it in that um, square uh, container that you saw earlier. So all the berries go in there as well and, and there's a lot more space. We're trying to be fancy, so it's <laughs> slightly smaller. <laughs> And then um, I like to have goji berries, it's not Angela's favorite, but I do love them quite a lot. And then we put hemp seeds on for extra protein and I think they also have some decent oils in them. And then for an extra bit of really lot of fun are these cacao nibs. So these are basically cacao beans that have been um, or the, the, the sort of off shoot cuts or whatever of cacao beans that have been um, used to make cacao powder or whatever. So there you go, it's quite a quite a beautiful breakfast bowl. And then, oh, just on a side note, um, Ange is very creative in the kitchen and loves to just throw things in um, as she feels. So she didn't give you any guidance in terms of <laughs> quantity. So we'll, we'll put a recipe um, below the video. So this oatmeal porridge is 100% vegan. We were supposed to shoot this hours ago. It's now half past 12 and um, I still haven't made lunch. But we did want to show you that we actually do eat this in case you think that we, we're trying to trick you or something. Stuff. Yeah. Sorry. It... <laughs> Interrupting <laughs> 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 You go first, you taste okay. it. I 
Ananda Tesuki Baba, Jedi Guru Dev. That's delicious. Mm. Unfortunately, we have a rule in our house that we can't talk with food in our mouth, so um, there'll, there'll be periods of silence now while we're eating. The, the crunch of the... <laughs> of the coconut nib. They're not coconut. Mm -hmm. The crunch of the cacao nibs coupled with the semi-frozen berries and the chewy, chewy <laughs> chewiness of the goji berry complements the green oatmeal so well. You can feel the undertones, especially of the yogurt, coming through. Mm. Making a symphony of breakfast delights. It's a party in a glass. <laughs> and we're yeah. invited. Yeah. <laughs> It's such a Who party. wouldn't want to go to a party in a breakfast class? I'm having a second spoon. Well, now then I'll have to have two spoons now. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It all depends on the protein powder. Yeah. It hinges on the protein mm. powder. And I have to say, you can eat breakfast any time of the day. Don't you think lots sporty? Of, lots of restaurants do all day breakfasts. I think all all restaurants do all day breakfasts. Mm. I mean, who needs salad and cooked vegetables when you can eat this? Next we must do our slap up breakfast for you. But mm. we're not going to tell you about that so that you subscribe for that one. Okay. We're going to finish eating breakfast. Enjoy your mm. Sunday. Much taller. No, don't. <laughs> it, was cutting, it was cutting my head off. Don't say sheeps. <laughs> We're not rec Are we recording? <laughs> okay, wait. No, Shneebi, now what are you doing? I'm getting the framing <laughs> right. <laughs> don't call me Shneebi. <laughs> okay. We are not sheeps to our viewers. <laughs> <laughs>